Good morning, my grade 7 students. How are you? Hope you are fine. Today, our lesson is about absorption and translocation of water and mineral salts. And in this lesson, you are going to do a project. You are going to perform a project, which is an experiment. Your lesson is page 35 and 34. Are you ready? Let's start. At the end of this lesson, you are going to determine the role of the conducting vessel. So at the end of this experiment, you are going to determine the role of the conducting vessel. Let's start our lesson with a small warm-up. I want from you to uh, bring something that will absorb water and do an experiment to verify this concept. So, for example, let me give you one example. For example, you can do a, a bring a paper and put it in water uh, in a cup and see if the paper absorbs water. So, if it absorbs water, then you verify the concept of absorption. Absorption, you know what does it mean, the word absorb. So, I want from you to bring something that will absorb water and do an experiment to verify this concept. Last time we learned about the absorption and we learned that the roots absorb, so the root hairs absorb water. Now we are going to start with the experiment project. So as you can see in the picture E, we have the stem of a white, like, white carnation dipped in a non-toxic ink reveals the presence of blue lines the conducting vessels so you are going to conduct this experiment and how you are going to conduct it you are going first to dip two carnation flower in ink or in any food colorant make sure that the flower color is white and you have to put them in a cup so you put the flower in a cup containing ink and one flower in a cup containing water and then you compare the two uh, flowers what will happen to the flower in water and what will happen to the flower that you dipped in uh, ink or in a food colorant uh, and don't forget to make a section in the stem so you are going to cut the roots and only you have to have a stem leaves and the flower so there is no roots you you cut the stem and you make a section in the stem and you cut the roots and why when you make a section in the stem make sure to observe the conducting vessels you can see them so i'm going to repeat in this project you are going to perform an experiment you are going to place two cups in the first cup you are going to place water and then you dip the flour in it make sure that the flower is white and then in the second cup you dip a second flower that is white and you put in the cup ink or a food colorant uh, after that make sure that the stem is only present so there is no roots and you have to make a section in the stem and make sure to observe the conducting vessel Don't forget, you have to wait until the color of the petals change. It will change depending on the food colorant that you use or on the color of the ink that you use. After conducting the experiment, you have to answer to the questions in here. So the first question is, compare the aspect of the flower before and after dipping dipping it in the ink or the food colorant the second question is indicate the direction followed by the ink and the final question is you have to deduce so you have to tell me what do you conclude from this so the first question is that you are to go, going to compare the aspect of the flower before and after dipping it in the ink or in the food colorant then after that you are going to indicate the direction followed by the ink and you are going to make a conclusion As a closure, I'm waiting your videos while performing the experiment and after the color of the petal changes. So you are going to make two videos. One video when you are performing the experiment and one video when the color of the petal 
changes. Don't forget also to solve the questions and send them to me. I'm so excited to see your videos and your answers. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Bye. Stay safe.